Hi Scoliosis Warriors! So, I hope you guys are all doing alright. Um, I know I haven't been able to make a video in a long time and I'm sorry about that. You know, sometimes life just happens. <clears throat> but, I wanted to share with you guys some helpful tips that you can do before you find a Schroth specialist. Um, some of these tips helped me a lot when I was in a lot of pain and I didn't really have the option to go to a Schroth specialist at the time. So one of my favorite things that help me when I'm in pain and just to release tension in a specific area is tennis balls. Okay. This is a form of acupuncture that you can do on yourself. And it's really simple and inexpensive. <clears throat> you really only need one tennis ball, by the way. But if you get multiple tennis balls, you can use them multiple times. Or if they get dirty, you can replace them. So one of my places in my one of the places in my body that I usually have the most pain is underneath my shoulders. So right in this area. So all I do is when I'm laying on the floor, I'll kind of demonstrate for you while I'm sitting like this. But all I do is when I'm on the floor is I put it in that area and kind of roll around a little bit to the tight spot and then I just sit on it. Just sit on the tennis ball, lay there. And you can kind of breathe through it and this will release a lot of tension in that area. I could do this maybe a minute or so in each spot and right away, you know, the pain just floods away. Another great use for these tennis balls is say if you have a commute, a long commute, to work or you're going on a trip or something. Um, I usually keep one in the side pocket of my car and all you do is if you're in pain that day or something just pull it out and I would put it on my back and then push back onto the chair in the car so kind of like lean back <laughs> and so you're basically giving yourself a massage on the way to work and, you know, releasing tension in those particular areas. Um, and the last form of ways that I use the tennis balls is on my feet. And when you're using them on your feet, all you have to do is just stand on them and stand in the area that is, you know, the, the tight area, just like on your back. And your foot is the map of your body, so if you stand on certain spots, it will release tension in different areas in your body. So it's very helpful. Um, another tip that I wanted to offer you guys is using um, a meditation app. A meditation app that I found very useful, which I'll show a picture of it, um, is called Headspace and you have like a goal to try to do five to ten minutes of meditation a day for ten consecutive days and you can do it any time in the day in the morning or at the evening but it really helps you just to like chill out if you have a lot going on especially in your life whether you're overwhelmed with school with finals with an intense job family maybe like a crazy boyfriend or something so definitely think about that headspace I've also tried one called lifetimer before I believe and it just kind of has a ding and then you meditate and close your eyes and you just breathe and then when it's over it does another ding and it's just kind of a nice way to start the day um, when I was doing the Schroth method in Palo Alto, my therapist, she, or my, <laughs> my instructor, she told me that I should meditate before I do my stretches. 
So I found that very helpful because if I had a lot going on that morning or something, it, it gave me a time to just kind of, you know, all right, I'm just gonna breathe right now. And then when you're done breathing for five or 10 minutes, then you're like, all right, now I'm gonna begin my stretches. And you're just so much more present. So it's really helpful. And I just wish you guys the best holidays. I know this time could be extra hard for a lot of you, um, especially because it's colder. I know that for me, the cold weather is harder because I have some arthritis in my back and um, it just kind of tightens everything and makes it more stiff and it makes you more uncomfortable. So, you know, maybe just go into the sauna or try to move around a lot. Just stay out of the cold, wear a lot of jackets. Uh, my last job, sometimes I would wear two sweaters. So, you know what to do. Just know that it's going to get better. And I hope this video helped you guys. And look out for more.